Tonight, two juvenile suspects are out of police custody after allegedly stealing a man's car while pointing a gun at him. Well, CMPD's hands are often tied when it comes to arresting teenage offenders. And just hours ago, WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman spoke with a CMPD lieutenant about why officers are forced to let juveniles go. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department continuing to catch and release teen suspects, arresting them for violent crimes only to drop them off at home. South Summit Avenue is a quiet neighborhood street. But on Tuesday night, two teenagers stole a man's car there at gunpoint. Officers later arrested them and requested a secure custody order, but the state's Division of Juvenile Justice denied it. Obviously, it is uh, really frustrating um, because you know, we're again, we're doing our part. CMPD needs custody orders to take teenagers to detention centers, but they're often denied. If we feel like we have gone the extra, you know, mile to ask for a secure custody order, we're asked and they are denied, then we're asking, you know, why? Lieutenant Crystal Fletcher says orders are only obtained for violent crimes and heavy documentation and evidence are required. Sometimes we um, ask for secure custody orders and they are not granted when we wish they would have been granted. We asked if the issue is due to lack of facility space. Fletcher says no, although having a facility in the county could help. Lack of space is not a um, an excuse for our juvenile problem. We asked the NCDJJ why the orders were denied for the two teens. A spokesperson says they can't comment on the case, but the decision is up to a district court judge, adding, quote, when making decisions related to secure custody, staff with the DJJ and delinquency prevention take very seriously any information addressing whether a juvenile presents a danger to public safety and respond accordingly. DJJ DP's role is to consider potential risks to public safety, the individualized needs of the juvenile and their risk of reoffending. Lieutenant Fletcher says CMPD will continue to work with the DA's office and NCDJJ to try to find solutions to this growing issue. Outside CMPD headquarters, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.